For this quick and easy project, what you are going to need is a jumper or a sweater. I'm using a raglan shaped jumper, but you can use any kind of sleeve that you wish. Let's get started. So to create this cutout detail, um, place a pin in the position where you want the cutouts to be. Mine is starting here and all the cutouts are going to be in this section here. Now before I actually go ahead and test this out, I like to do a little tester to see what the shape will be. So I'm thinking about just doing little slits and pulling that to see what shape I actually get. So the first thing to do is a snip and then pull, oh that's nice, yeah, I think I have to pull that just a bit bigger, yeah that's nice, see how it curls out, yeah, so it's just going to be random, I'm just going to put it all over, So just pull gently and it will just naturally go that way and it all depends on the knit that you're working with as well so you may see a bit of difference from one knit to another well, that's what you're looking for so I'm just going to repeat this on the back because this is the front I'm now working on the sleeve and doing exactly the same All the holes have been created in both sleeves and also the bottom of the jumper. So in order for me to create a bit more volume at the bottom of the sleeves and also the main part of the body of the jumper is that I'm going to create a elastication here, a gathering effect just to give this area a bit more volume. Let me show you with this sleeve what that looks like. So there it is. It just allows this to stand away from my arm, the lower part of my arm and also my body just to give the drama that I'm looking for. So, that's so turn your jumper sweater to the wrong side, the sleeve. I'm going to get in the cuff area and then what you need is a large needle and what I'm using here is shearing elastic it just is a gentler way of doing a gathering stitch and still got elastication within there and it's strong as well so I do have a video tutorial on how to do shearing which I'll link below and I also have a video tutorial on how to do this technique which is the running stitch A little bit of hand sewing, but well, that's the beauty of having beautifully made, refashioned projects is hand sewing stitch. Hand sewing techniques. So I'm going to go all the way around. This is a recap, so this is now completed. All of these cutouts, well not really cutouts, really slits aren't they? Really. The sleeves, the front and the back. 
and the hand sewing was all just to give the lower section of the sleeve a bit more volume and also a bit more volume around the bottom of the jumper as well let me just show you that hand stitching I use a running stitch I'll put a link to that in the description below which is a dedicated video that you can watch so now all I need to do now is try it on and show you what it looks like okay here is the end result so yes it's effective I just may do this all the way to the neckline I'm not sure yet what I tend to do is that I will wear it like this and probably wear it like this a few times and then when I kind of like get bored of the idea then I will probably bring this all the way up so that I keep it in my wardrobe so but yes it's gorgeous yeah I'm happy I'm happy with the results it looks good it looks cute it looks different and it's a a jumper sweater that's going to be in my wardrobe for quite some time I wear it like this for a number of seasons and then when I want to experiment a little bit more I will do these slit details all the way up front and back and sleeves you have to excuse the lighting I'm blurring out and blending it into the background if you enjoyed this video at all then please do give it a thumbs up I do I will put links to any sewing techniques that I've used in this video tutorial so please click on those for dedicated video in how to do the running stitch in particular so with that said all I want to say is thank you for watching and I will see you next time <laughs>